What up, YouTube family? It's your boy again, Jonathan Evans here. Listen, I'm excited because I want to teach you. It's all about the partnership. Let's go. All right, now, everybody. Everybody's coming into 2023 excited about what they're going to accomplish and really excited about what God is going to do in their life. They're like, God, I want you to do this. God, I want you to do this. God, if you could please do this. God, if you can make this happen. All of these different things that we look forward to God to do. Why? Because he has the power to do it. He's able to do it. He's totally sufficient. The grace is totally sufficient. All of those things. He's told us who we are. We're more than conquerors. We're chosen. We're redeemed. We're adopted. All of those things that he's already done and all of the blessings that we are already have and you want to draw those things down but guess what he's not going to do it without you it's a partnership it's totally a partnership now there are some things that God will do because it's his sovereign will to do it but there's a lot of things that he will only do if you're willing to partner with him if you look at John 11 when Lazarus died he told Martha in verse 39 hey Martha go ahead and move that stone for me Martha, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to move that stone. And what did Martha do? Martha then started to give God a lesson on mortuary science. She said, uh, it's probably already a stench by now. He's already been dead for four days. Um, why do you want me to move the stone? And Jesus said, did I not tell you if you would believe that's how you would see the glory of God? That seeing the glory of God has to do with you believing. And believing is more than a feeling. It's actually you moving that stone. But if you're not going to move that stone, then you won't see this miracle. If you're not going to move this stone, then your dead situations won't rise. If you're not going to move this stone, then you can have all these hopes and dreams, all of these things that you want to accomplish, and you want to see my ability. You want to see me sustain you. You want to see me make your path straight. You want to see me take you to the next level, but you ain't even willing to move the stone. And whenever I tell you to move the stone, you have all these excuses. Whenever I tell you to move the stone, you go to human logic. Whenever I tell you to move the stone, then you run to your friends and see what they think. Whenever I tell you to move the stone, you're, you're on YouTube videos, not mine, other people's YouTube videos, listening to things that have nothing to do with godly advice or where you actually should be going thinking and how you should be applying things. Whenever I tell you to move the stone, you come back to me, God, with all of these justifications of why I would even ask you to do such a thing. God is calling you to partner with him. He called the people of Israel to partner with him. I have a promised land, says the Lord. It's a promised land for you. There's going to be cisterns you did not dig. There's going to be vegetation you did not plant. There's going to be buildings you did not build. But I need you to partner with me. The first generation of Israel didn't partner, didn't get the promise. It's not because God didn't make the promise. It's not because God didn't have it for them. It's because they were unwilling to partner. They were unwilling to take the responsibilities. Now, some of you may have kids like I have kids. It's unbelievable the request they have for me, but then they get mad when I ask them about their responsibilities. They get mad. Every time I ask them, did you clean your room? Did you wash the dishes? Did you remember to make your bed? Did you start the day with prayer? Did you start the day with loving your family? Are you done with your math? Are you done with your reading? And they go like this. Oh, why do I have to do all that? I don't want to do all that. Why do I have to do all that? Oh, so you want me to provide for you while I allow you to be totally irresponsible. So you want me to enable your irresponsibility. You don't want me to mature you. You don't want me to grow you. You don't want me to make sure that you become a responsible adult. You don't want me to do any of those things that are actually beneficial for your life, but you just want me to be a genie in the bottle. And I realized having kids and being a kid myself, we're the same type of kids to God. We do the exact same thing. We have all of these expectations of what God can do based on his ability. We try to turn him into a genie in a bottle. And that's what most people want to do in 2023. God, I just need you to show up and show out. God needs you to show up and show out. It's not about his ability. It's about your actions. It's not about whether he's responsible. It's about whether you're responsible. And God will wait. And trust me when I tell you, he's got more time to wait than you do. God will wait on you to see what you're going to do before he decides what he's going to do. Even in Matthew 16, he says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. That means that what he's going to work through is his people. He says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Not me. I already know I can beat the beat hell. I already beat hell. I already have victory. But in order for victory to be experienced, it's going to be through the people. It's a partnership. You want a better marriage? It's a partnership. You want better relationships? It's a partnership. You can't ignore God's word and then things get better when you're asking to use his word or use him for things to get better. It's a partnership. The question is not what is he willing to do? The question is what are you willing to do? 
It's a partnership. And most of us are the irresponsible kids that have a lot of requests, but get mad when we have responsibilities in the requests that we have. It's a partnership. So the question is, today, are you willing to partner for 2023? The question is, in the goals that you write down for 2023, when you have your prayer time, when you have your fasting time, when you're looking at where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, when you think about the things that are on your list, even the things that are from the house of sorrow, like we talked about in the last session, we talked about the house of sorrow, my family, I want to have a better marriage, I want to have a, a better relationship with my kids, a better relationship with my father, like I want the, the things that are important, I want to be better. And God is like, you can't sit still and those things get better. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and I will make your path straight. That means you got to trust and then he'll make your path straight. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That means you got to come and then he gives you rest. He tells Martha, move that stone. In my mind, Jesus is saying, I already know what I'm going to do. That dead situation from 2022, I'm going to make it get up. And it's going to come to you in swaddling clothes. And we're going to unwrap it. And you're going to get to experience things that you thought were lost. I have the power of resurrection. I have the power of resurrection of life. I have the power of resurrection to, to, new, to the newness of life. I have the power of resurrection in your situation. I have the power of resurrecting your marriage. I have the power of resurrecting your relationships. I have the power of resurrecting you away from addiction. I have a power of resurrecting all of these situations and circumstances for you to have a better 2023 than you had in 2022. But it's not going to be easy. And please don't give me, God is talking, please don't give God lessons in human logic. Martha, just move that stone. And the fact that it's a stone probably meant that it was not easy to move. What God is going to call you to do is not going to be easy. The way that he calls you to partner is not going to be based on your feelings. It's not going to be based on your logic. It's not going to be based on your human wisdom. It's going to be separate from all of those things. And he wants to know, do you believe me more than you believe you? Are you asking me to do something for the Laz Lazarus in your life? Are you asking you to do something for the Lazarus in your life. If you're asking me, then you depend on me. If you're asking me, then you put your faith in me. If you're asking me, then you come to me. If you're asking me, then why are we determining whether we're going to do it or not based on your thoughts, based on your feelings, based on what your friends say, or other YouTube channels? It's a partnership. 2023 is a partnership. For me, my family, we talk around the table. I ask my kids, how are we going to partner with God this year? We're not just putting it all on him. He's not a genie in a bottle. It doesn't work that way. It's a partnership. Go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations. That means you got to go. Okay. All these promises in the Bible and things that God wants to accomplish have to do with movement. I talked about it before, but in, my, in our church, we install motion detector lighting. Why? because people who don't pay bills don't turn off lights. And the way motion detector lighting works is simple. You move, lights come on. You don't move, lights stay off. That means movement determines the activation of the power. You wanna activate God's power, move. You don't wanna activate God's power, just stay still. Keep thinking and processing and using your own human wisdom when the prick and the prod of God on your life is to go move that stone. And when you move that stone, he told Martha, I told you, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Now, most of us want Lazarus to rise prior to the stone being moved. And then we'll believe and we'll run over there real fast and then we'll move the stone. Because now our feelings are now in tune with what God says he'll do. No, 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 no. God doesn't want your feelings to be in tuned when he tells you to do something. Whether or not your feelings are in tune or irrelevant, do what he tells you to do, because then and only then will you see the glory of God. I want you to see the glory of God in 2023. I want to see the glory of God in 2023, but it's going to be a partnership in order for his promises to become our purposes, in order for our disasters to be resurrected into destinies, in order for us to see all that God is able to do, because he's able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all that you can ask or think according to the power that works in you.
Don't forget to say the last part of that verse. Listen, be steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord and know that it will not go in vain. Don't forget, join the team, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment. Let's grow together. Let's go. What up, this is Jonathan Evans. Listen, I'm excited that you're here. I'm excited that you joined this video, but before you go, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell icon, make sure you're a part of the team so that we can continue to grow together. Let's grow, let's do it.